Well, basically, I uh, was a street artist writing a lot of graffiti back in the day. Then that kind of escalated into graphic design. I started working for a company called Maskeen. That process was the first time that I ever like designed or touched a clothing item. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. My wife had a sewing machine in the closet to pick the sewing machine up and just never look back. It escalated into what you see right now. You know, Mihamid Hallam and the brand, which is basically a mix of graffiti, architecture, graphic design, shapes, layers, colors. I just fell in love with the, the military textiles and the durability of it, you know, the, the calm colors that you could like kind of wear every day. This piece right here, this is a patchwork hoodie, upcycled piece, vintage textiles from a blanket, upcycled racing puffer concept. The client, they can customize this letter. All of these uh, patches are random. I did stuff with uh, Malcolm Jenkins when he was here playing for the Eagles. The rapper Fabulous has wore my stuff. Freeway. Wallow is one of the guys kind of early on that I got something to. That jacket, 350, 400. But then, you know, something like this, which is 100%, you know, made from scratch. It's not an upcycled piece. Um, you know, something like this, $1,300. You're never gonna see nobody else in the world with it. And it's a piece of art. It's something that can be cherished from genera generations to generations to come. So the whole concept is quality over compromise. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be quality, no matter how low how the price point is or how high it is, you can, you can expect for it to have a certain level of quality. So a puffer jacket. Definitely to keep you warm in the winter. Lambskin from uh, India. So this is like an all leather Pant mixed with denim and kai. A little side bag, you know, with your iPad in it. Well, certain pieces I do offer for people to just go to the website and buy. When it's real intricate and detailed, I only do one of one. It's just me getting the materials, pulling my patterns out, and cutting the material, cutting the shapes, and sewing it together on the machine. But it's like a bunch of different cultures <laughs> inside one piece from the materials, because the the olive, that's military, you know what I mean? So that'll represent America, you know what I mean? Then the cut of the jacket could be Japan, could be Middle Eastern, the ties could be Japan. So it's a bunch of different things going on with it. I feel great when I can make something and when I see other people wearing the stuff, you know, it's just a testimony like, that I'm doing something that's appreciated, you know what I mean? I've been doing this 12 years. A lot of people want the success to just come like overnight. It, it definitely don't work like that. I want to be that source of inspiration for like the, the younger generations coming up, you know what I'm saying, from the inner city, because that's where I'm from. There's not a lot of designers that's actually making stuff, you know, that come from where we come from. So um, I'm trying to shed light on that. Hopefully, you know, have a school, have a manufacturing facility, you know, have chain stores, um, you know, around the country. I gotta tell you, I really like that puffer coat. I think you could rock that, mm -hmm. Mike. I really do. I'm just gonna need some funds. Um, well, you're gonna have to talk to our news director about that. No pocket dresses. <laughs> if you would like to check out his work as well, you can go to hamidhalliman.com.